Hello and uh, good morning. <laughs> good morning and welcome back to the channel. Happy Lunar New Year. I know you guys have been waiting a while for this one, but it's finally here. Today we have the performance review for the GK Kobe 6 EYBL. This one took a while to make. It's been raining nonstop out here, so for the past month I wasn't able to get any good sessions in, but it's finally cleared up and I have been hooping almost every day. So I've got some solid amount of playing time logged in on these bad boys. And I gotta say, these are beast. A fresh colorway and an updated zoom turbo bag in the forefoot. How do they compare to the other Grinches? We shall see. Also, just a quick disclaimer, since these are fake sneakers, I would not recommend trying this out at home. This video is strictly for scientific purposes only. Starting things off with the traction. Solid color traction is almost like a guaranteed dub. I don't know what it is about the compound, but the translucent can never really live up to the solid. And that makes me solid. The traction on these is amazing. The translucent on the Grinches weren't bad at all. They still stopped well, but these have more bite to them, so you can feel a lot more confident in your moves. These have the classic honeycomb-like traction pattern with that large contact patch. Stops and cuts all felt good. I was never slipping out or sliding around, just super consistent. Also, I know some of you guys were looking forward to the pee-pee poo-poo test, but uh, but sadly there weren't any sewage issues at the court I play at, so I couldn't recreate it. I mean, I could recreate it. Another plus that doesn't really matter too much is it's a black traction, so they don't look dirty after lots of use. I've hooped in my Grinches so much that the outsole has turned into a more of a brownish stain looking traction. These, nothing. Still look like new, just really dusty. As far as the squeakiness on these, non-existent. A silent traction, even indoors. All right, time for the cushion. We have a Phylon injected midsole with a zoom turbo unit in the forefoot. Just like the Protros, no zoom in the heel. Now they said the updated zoom turbo bag was more inflated and the foam is supposedly softer. For me, the updated cushion wasn't really that noticeable. It has a slightly bouncier feel to them, but not by much. One thing I did notice was my feet felt less sore and just overall better the days after but I would still say these are more on the responsive court feel side of the cushion spectrum. Better for guards and shiftier play styles. They have a really solid structure with the carbon fiber shank plate, nice and sturdy, giving them a smooth heel to toe transition. A very quick sneaker, doesn't feel clunky at all. Overall, a slight improvement in the cushion from the previous batch, not by much though. Still feels similar, just a bit better on the post-workout side of things. All right, moving to the upper. These didn't take as long to break in as the Grinches, felt really good from the start. I think the different finish they used on the snake scales actually helped with that. On the Grinches, the finish had a glossy plastic look to them, while these have a more rubbery texture. Same deal with the lockdown, make sure you're going through the top eyelets so you don't get any heel slippage. You can crank them down pretty good without them feeling suffocating. For the laces, these are thinner than the standard ones, something that was exclusive for this colorway. They did start loosening up when I played a couple times. Not sure, not, not sure if that's due to the thinner laces or my weak fingers. Either way, double knot it and it won't be an issue at all. I usually double knot my hoop shoes anyway, so. The fly wire did its job. Never sliding over the footbed keeps your foot nice and contained. One more thing to note on the upper, the paint never chipped off the swoosh, which was a, which was a problem for some people. I do see some cracking in the paint though, where the shoe naturally creases. It's looking like as time goes on, the paint will eventually start to fall off a bit. Kind of a bummer. The layer of paint is pretty thick though, so hopefully it holds up. Now for the fit. We fit. We fit. Same as last time. I have a slightly wide foot and going half a size up was a perfect fit. These have a narrow toe box just like the Protros. If you don't have a wide foot, true to size should still work. It'll just be a snug fit. Just like most shoes, the fit improves the more you play in them. Especially with these, since they, uh, since they have the insole that molds to your foot. Some crazy tech in these for the time. Overall, plays very similar to the Grinches. Just a lot better on the recovery side. You don't really notice it, but they are easier on the knees. Alright, that is my performance review for the GK Kobe 6 EYBL. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more sneaker content. 
Also, it would just help me out a ton. Some of you might have noticed a lot of my videos have disappeared due to certain reasons, mostly the sense of impending doom. I've made a second channel, Thrice Fried, for the content that shall not be named to kind of separate it from the main channel. For my main channel, I'll keep it the same. This will be for all my big videos and uh, mostly performance reviews and the regular sneaker content. So, um, yeah, definitely go check out the second channel. It'll be the same as usual, just over there. That is all for this one. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hello, and uh, good morning. Ew.